What's up, guys? It is February 23rd, and I've thought of a pretty helpful financial model that is going to be used for unit costing and determining how much you can charge for a product that you're selling and how much profit that means you can make based on your costs. So the idea here is simplicity and accuracy and correctness. So um, the scope of this would be for a manufacturer or somebody or some organization that is selling something that's not a recurring service one-time sales so or retail sales so we have all our costs listed on the left column we got supplies and materials and these are just general obviously this is just a template model but it could be tailored to however your costs line up so you can better model it out and I can do that for you as part of our lease but just looking at this and how it works so we have basically you put in all your costs for supplies and materials and I've done it just for one year but you could do it on any time frame it just is going to tell you well if you sell this many units and in that and it costs you this amount of money then this is these are your numbers so the time frame really doesn't matter as long as you're matching up the amount of units you're projecting to sell is the same as the time that these costs are being incurred. So let's just assume one year. Here's all your costs for the supplies and materials. Here's your labor cost annually. You've got headcount here and oh, the only thing you guys are changing, the only thing that's editable or should be editable is the blue cells with white text. And that drives everything else. Anyway, so you have labor here, the uh, job type, you do headcount and annual salary. Then we've got sales and marketing, if you've got any advertising, uh, salesmen, other sales and marketing costs. Then you've got all your overhead, rent, office supplies, other costs. This gives you your total cost. So this total cost number needs to represent all of your costs in the entire company in hard costs, not like depreciation or amortization. Uh, you Well, you might want to include debt service, but let's just assume we're talking about operational or regular business costs. So in this scenario, we've got $197,500 of cost. Now here's our unit sales. We did low, medium, and high. So we're saying in that same period that we accrued $197,000 of costs, how many units can we sell? Well, if we s our unit volume is $2,500, that means the cost per unit is $79. And if our profit margin target is 12%, we have to charge $88.48 a unit. That would give us $221,000 of total sales and nine dollars and forty eight cents of profit per unit net profit of twenty three thousand so you can see the twenty one twenty two hundred twenty one thousand dollars of sales less your total cost of one ninety seven equals to twenty three thousand dollar profit but the formulas are not the formulas are dynamic so that everything can change um with your your assumptions but you can just tie it out for accuracy purposes if you want by taking the sales less the this and you'll get to this number um, now what you're gonna have to do obviously is figure out well or the how you would use this to say okay well if I sell let's say I sell five let's say I sell five hundred thousand units assuming you can sell that many your cost per unit goes all the way down to 40 cents if your target margin now here's where the key is so you, so you say well how much margin can I make and you're gonna try to weigh that against the unit price so you're gonna say well how much do I know people will buy it for 
and you raise your profit margin to until that price gets hit. So say you, you think, well, these people could buy it. They'd pay 80 cents. I could think I could sell it at 80 cents a unit and sell 500,000. Well, then you just drive up your margin until it hits 80 cents. And actually, we're almost at a hundred percent margin, so that's basically double selling it for double what it cost you. Oh, that makes sense, obviously, it's forty cents a unit. So if you're marking up a hundred two percent, you're gonna make eighty to eighty cents a unit. You would have four hundred thousand dollars in sales. Your profit per unit is forty cents, obviously, because the cost is forty. You're making forty. Your net profit is two hundred thousand dollars. And I did three different scenarios, so you can test different volume levels. Also, I did. You have got two other tabs down here that are identical to the first one. If you want to test um, different products, you can allocate different costs to those products and see what the numbers look like. Or you could just use one and uh, more modifications that I can do if you have different products that have different margins then I could build you add on to this and build you know more so you can test what the overall scenario looks like assuming you sell three or five or whatever however many different products at and you get a X of margin for each of them and then we could look at the numbers so all that is part of my hourly fee if you want to hire me on for that I can work and do that but you know, I also just am going to have this template available for you to play around with as part of just the general um, one time cost of the template. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I did make a visual, and let's put the numbers back to where they kind of flow. Uh. So here's our visual. It shows you your cost per unit, your profit per unit, and actually that well, I wanted this to be green. So and then you've got your total unit volumes, um, obviously low, medium, and high and then here's your real numbers so you can see your total sales figures how much net profit and then your unit sales again will be the same and that's about it so the key is here simplicity the with with financial models it's if you're gonna make like I'm making models that sell or people can buy the key is to make it simple enough so that anybody can look at it and understand how the logic flows and then they can also modify it without messing anything up in and it's not too complex for one given scenario it's kind of general so this allows any company to put in you just get all your costs here and then you got all your units that you can sell in that time and everything um, the numbers you can kind of play with and see what what it looks like all right, I guess that's all I got for you. Um, the link in the description box below will have a link to my site where you can get this email to you and also hire me to work on any hourly work that you want. And that's all I got for you today. Have a great next couple weeks. I don't know when I'll do the next model, but um, we'll just have to see.